Welcome to the KJ Today Show, your place for the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. Today's guest is Kevin Jonas Sr. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, is it is it okay if I call you Papa Jonas? You can call me Papa Jonas. I wear that title with honor, and I'm a very proud dad. I bet. Uh, we are uh, obviously uh, excited to talk with you about those kids that we love so much and we have some uh listener questions coming up but i want to let everybody know first that if they really want to uh get to know you the the crazy life that you have had with your talented family you've got a new podcast legendary with kevin jonas senior uh let's talk about some of the fun episodes you've had so far the songwriters and your kids Thank you, and it's an honor to be with you today, and I love uh So the reason I started this is I've always been a fan of music. Uh, I was a singer myself growing up in North Carolina, and I would sit in front of the TV, and this is before the Internet, and I would take specific notes of every award show, the, the J cards and liner notes from every album. I would cross-reference them. When I would meet people later in life, I would say, oh, you worked on this project. Oh, didn't you write on this? Didn't you play on this project? And my wife said to me early in our marriage, you know, someday you're going to be able to use all of this useless knowledge. (laughs) And so (laughs) I'm putting it to use as a fan of music. A lot of these are friends of mine. But so far we've been able to interview uh, my son, two of them already, and the rest I'll be interviewing soon. We've interviewed Tony Orlando, who's a longtime friend and, of course, had huge impact in the 70s. He's been doing this for five decades. Uh, Cece Wyman, we we interviewed one of my friends who is one of the hottest songwriter producers out there now, Sam Hollander. Uh, We interviewed David Massey, who was responsible, one of the key folks involved in my son's career, but also worked with The Link Beyond, Duran Duran, Wayne Young. I mean, it, it, this week will be Adam Blackstone, who is one of the world's premier music directors. He does the Grammys, the Super Bowl with J-Lo and Kira. And he talked about how he got started, how we met, how he's worked with some of my talent, and what, what the steps were. It really is fascinating, even though the technology changes, to be able to go through and hear from these guys that did what you have to do today. Pick yourself up, accept that it's difficult, but take it in your own hands and make it happen. Each of these guys, stories they tell. Hearing Tony Orlando talk about his breakdown, talk about, you know, Frank Sinatra mentoring, my kids turning the tables and actually interviewing me, which was uh, not what I expected, but so fun. And, and I'm approaching it as a guy that, you know, I've been a songwriter, I've been an independent artist, I've managed talent. I bring my hat in, but I still come in as a fan of music. I just love the process, the, the behind the scenes, the people that aren't seen, and the people that are actually carrying the music. So, so that's what the podcast is about. I hope it's inspirational, biographical. And I hope people will be inspired, whether music is their career or not, by hearing from people they admire and beyond that, hearing these stories. It's really unbelievable. It is fun listening to you. Um, you know, it, interviewing it is an art, and uh, I think we're we're always learning and growing as an interviewer myself. But you're just so relaxed and natural at this. I was like, man, uh, Papa Jonas needs to add this to his his resume. Not only uh, an amazing songwriter, an artist manager, and all the things you've done, but you've you, you're creating a, a compelling podcast where, uh, you know, even like you said, talking with with your sons, I mean, there's so much knowledge there that can be helpful for people who are looking to get into the business, but also, you know, funny moments like talking about your favorite Subway sandwich. <laughs> Hilarious. I had no idea. I was standing at, a, at the headquarters for Subway and they, I knew they were going to ask, well, you know, they want to be authentic. What is the favorite sandwich of each son? <laughs> so I hit them up with an email, urgent, what's your favorite Subway sandwich? <laughs> and Nick talked about it because they were out 
over in Asia. They were touring, and they were out in the middle of the night doing karaoke. They probably had a few drinks. And that became <laughs> later a test for whether or not they were intoxicated, whether they could say their favorite Subway sandwich. So for all these years behind my back, if they're testing whether they've had a little too much to drink, they'll go, Urch, what's your favorite Subway sandwich? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so much fun. And I bet for you as a dad to actually have, you know, this time to just sit with one of your children and just have those conversations. Um, going into the fan questions, that was actually one of the things uh, that Grace asked is, how on earth do you ever get your whole family together for holidays or birthdays with your boys and their wives so busy? We are incredibly busy family. Uh, the three older boys have married, of course, Kevin married Danielle, uh, and they have two girls up in New Jersey. Uh, Nick then married Priyanka from India, and obviously a world talent, and they're busy and doing their projects. Uh, Joe married Sophie, and she was, you know, Game of Thrones, X-Men, incredible actress, and they're busy. Altogether, I had four sons, now five granddaughters. Frankie is so busy. Uh, he and Kevin had a show on ABC called Claim to Fame. Uh, he has his own projects that I think are going to shock the world and amazing. So to get together for the holidays for us is a chore. I think we choose our moments because we're all kind of, you know, uh, underachievers, if you will. Uh, <laughs> we're all people. But uh, at the end of the day, more than anything else, we all prioritize. So we're, we're making time over the holidays to see all of them. Uh, sometimes we travel to them. If there's ever an issue, I know when I was battling cancer, they dropped tours, they dropped everything, flew to the hospital just to be there before I went back from my surgery. We don't miss our moment, and we're always there for each other. Uh, and that, and sometimes that's the holidays, and now that they're married, sometimes it's pre-holiday or post-holiday, but we make sure that family comes first. Well, and one more fun little question about your family. Ashley said, uh, which one of your kids is most likely to be late to the family gatherings? <laughs> late to the family gathering? You know, uh, they each have specific personalities. Uh, I don't think we have anybody that actually struggles with being late. Um, I, I think it's more the way we approach the room. Uh, Kevin is, uh, we, we called him Mr. Mayor. He walks in, he's greeting everybody, shaking every hand. Uh, Nick probably is creating or developing or enforcing the schedule. Uh, Joe he eases into the room. Frankie, you know, he's talking a mile a minute. He's my, uh, Mensa member. He's super intelligent and talented. And, uh, so he's striking up conversations throughout the room. We, we don't show up late, but we all show up with our personality. And as a dad, every single one of my kids is so different. And now with granddaughters, uh, keeps the busy just trying to be, well, my wife said early in our marriage, we need to be students of our children because each one is so different. So we really do try to, to approach each one of our sons with a special touch just for them try to find their, the things that inspire them. How beautiful. Kevin, at Papa Jonas, it has been a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for the wonderful family that you share with the world, because I know you miss out on some things because of their incredible fame. Uh, and we'll be listening to the podcast. Thank you so much for putting it out there. Legendary with Kevin Jonas Sr. Uh, have a wonderful day and have a great holiday. Thanks so much holidays to everyone uh, and i hope you enjoyed the podcast Thanks for joining us for another celebrity interview. Of course, the KJ Today Show isn't just about talking to celebs. It's about hanging out with you. Join us live on Wednesday nights for pop culture, people to know, and pets. The KJ Today Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch live Wednesday nights at 7. 